A scandal is growing surrounding a local private school. Five women who are former students have filed four lawsuits saying they were abused by school staff at Catlin Gable. Fox 12's Brian McMillan is here live now with a look at these new allegations. Brian? Yeah, and these new lawsuits are civil cases, not criminal, so we're not going to name the people accused in these complaints. However, one of them is a current teacher at Catlin Gable and has been placed on administrative leave. These new complaints accuse five teachers of sexual and emotional abuse at the school spanning decades. One of the women said that when she was in seventh grade in 1968, she entered what she thought was a romantic relationship with one of her teachers. She alleges that her teacher molested her in a windowless storage room beneath the library at Catlin Gable. In another one of the suits, two former students claim that they were sexually abused by their English teacher starting in the mid-1980s. The plaintiffs say he groomed them individually by praising their talent and writing skills and eventually had sex with them. This brings the total to 10 former students who have brought lawsuits since the school released a disturbing internal report in December detailing a long history of sexual abuse perpetrated by the school staff. Plaintiffs allege that the school did not follow mandatory reporting laws and that the school knowingly covered up the danger, which put more students at risk and led to more abuse. I am speaking up now because for years I thought I was alone and have sadly come to realize the extent of the damage done to myself and others at Catlin. One of the lawsuits accuses a teacher of mental abuse instead of sexual in 1994. The plaintiff says the teacher humiliated her during a school assembly when she was in eighth grade, accusing her of dating her way through the eighth grade and gifting her with a wind-up pair of plastic lips. We reached out to Catlin Gable. They said due to pending civil litigation and the ongoing criminal investigation, they are unable to respond further, but they are fully cooperating with the investigation. After the school released their internal investigation in December, they told Fox 12 in a statement that they profoundly apologize for the pain and suffering that these alumni endured. School officials said what happened is inexcusable. Again, only one of the teachers mentioned in these complaints is still teaching at the school, and that teacher has been placed on administrative leave. The five former students in these new complaints are seeking more than $10 million, million in damages from the school. Reporting live in studio tonight, Brian McMillan, Fox 12, Oregon.